Welcome back. We saw it play out on the national stage. A high-profile athlete collapsing on the football field. And what happened to the Bills' Damar Hamlin put a new spotlight on cardiac arrest in sports. And a similar scenario played out on a basketball court right here in the Bay Area. Kenny Choi has the story of a South Bay athlete who is alive today. That is thanks to bystanders who knew exactly what to do. For 15-year-old Ryan Chan, love of basketball won't fade away. The splash of a Spalding sphere, sweet to anyone who knows the game. It feels like relaxing, and it just feels good to play. Just days before high school tryouts last fall, the freshman was practicing with his San Jose Spartans AAU teammates. He collapsed, going into cardiac arrest. Ryan's coach witnessed a medical emergency no one expects to see. Anytime I think about it, I kind of get a little, a little choked up about it because you don't want to see anybody in that situation. Lifeguards Ian and Molly Hanaray working a shift nearby at the Campbell Community Center pool and had just completed CPR training found themselves in a life and death situation. Once Molly came in saying to grab the defibrillator, it was jump defibrillator, sprint across the pool deck to the gym and immediately start CPR. We usually go through this training, but you know, it's fake scenarios, it's not real scenarios. So I was a little bit panicked in a way, but I remained calm. Doctors say that quick response by the siblings saved Ryan's life. He underwent surgery to place an ICD at Stanford Children's Health. He spent the first 72 hours like in a medically induced coma. Cardiac arrest in youth sports is rare, but doctors say it still happens about once every five days. Knowing CPR and being AED ready are critical. Until the AED gets there, right, the heart is not pumping out blood to the body, right? And so what CPR would do is effectively pumping out blood from the heart out into the body to preserve the brain and the other organs. It's a miracle that he actually made it this far without brain damage. Before collapsing, Ryan showed no signs of heart problems. He's more than grateful for how his life was saved. Learn to like let go of things and just accept what happened to me. He's found a way to keep his hoop dreams alive through his little brother Connor, coaching him the way only a big brother can. I'm hard on him when he like messes up and stuff and when he doesn't practice. It pushes me hard, but it gets me a lot better. Ryan's teaching him moves on and off the court by overcoming obstacles with the heart of a champion. Kenny, thank you for that story. Oftentimes, sudden cardiac arrest may be due to undiagnosed heart conditions, and there may be warning signs. So they include unexplained fainting, shortness of breath or chest pain, and also a family history of sudden cardiac death.